I've been spotted. I ah! didn't even have time to say I've been made. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of DP Live, where my name is Dana Pond, and you would be watching this DP Live, possibly even in real time. Now, today, I'm joined on the couch by my best friend, Pert Pickles, from Canadian indie rock band Lost Has Found. And if you want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost Has Found, check out the links in the description below. Um, there's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, and all those good places. Uh, so today, we are playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade. We're hopping back into it. This would be episode 11 in our little series here. Um, where we last left off, we had walked Aerith home, and um, she immediately decided that she was going to walk us to Sector 7. And Cloud was like, what was the point of me bringing you here? And which does make me wonder, what was the point of her bringing him there? Other than to meet her mother. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, let's hop on back into the game. Let's see where we're at. And let's keep playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. I'm loving this game. I hope you guys are loving it too. I mean, obviously you're loving it. If you're watching this far, you're probably keeping up with the series. Good for you. Thanks for joining me on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Go team. That was a high five. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's do this thing. Let's play this game. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's what you want. Every episode. Oh, yeah. I think maybe on, like, the last episode, I'll listen to it, like, all the way through. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Alright, so here we are, back at Aerith's house. Um, their mom just keeps saying, hmm. It must be tough. Oh. No, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Can't go into the kitchen. Can't walk around the other side of the table for some reason. It's too crowded. It's too crowded. We can't make it. So bright, my eyes. They need to adjust. Okay. Hmm. We can't run. Can't knock. Found him. <sighs> you take this one. Uh. Take it. Uh. Uh. <sighs> right. Off we go. Right here are my babies. So scenic. It's beautiful. Look at the foliage. <laughs> Do you think we should pick any of them? Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Choose flowers to deliver to the leaf house. Press Y when you're close to a garden to pick flowers. Decorations at the leaf house change depending on the colors you select. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Um...
Warning. Warning. Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? or anything I'm not cut out for this crap sure you are and when you're done you'll be drowning in job offers <laughs> We'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? <sighs> now what? Moogle. Moogle on the wall. telling her. So I suppose that was the wrong way. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. That's a lesson for life from the ground floor. See you soon. He didn't have anything we wanted. What do you mean looking for a new weapon? You don't sell weapons.
fight me? Uh -huh. It'd be great if they asked us again. This Aerith is such a sweetheart, right? Oh. I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. It's our friend from the Sephiroth Posse. He's one of the, the fractions. I know I can do it. Climb up there. He's a piece. A portion of Sephiroth. must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Oh, hello. Cloud has been assisting me with my research and development. Ooh, that sounds fun. Count me in. One moment while I run diagnostics. Huh. How very strange. You don't appear to be in my database. And that's bad? There must have been some sort of server error. Oh well, any friend of Cloud's is sure to be of great help. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps yeah. you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Heretofore. I say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Chadley has developed a new combat simulator VR missions. As you gather more and more battle intel, special missions allowing you to battle summons will become available. Talk to Chadley if you want to give them a go. <clears throat> Please let me know when you have made your preparations. Out for a brand new one. I'll give you good value. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Man, the hinges on my front door keep goddamn squeaking. Almost as loud. Shiva, an ice element summon uh, recreated in virtual reality. It is the manifestation of a queen who once sealed the planet's winds with ice, as evidenced by the existence of permafrost in the polar lands. Tactical data not available. Yeah! <laughs> 
That was rude. Maybe this 
Out 37. Lead. Cloud is lead. Chocobo kick and Moogle blast. <laughs> That's the Chocobo kick. Oh, Eric doesn't have enough. We need a heal. Done. I'm feeling pretty weak. Time to 
more. This one's for you! Not looking good. That was a tough battle. Holy crap. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Whew. That was a tough battle. Okay, I'm going to save up. Okay, so we got Shiva all equipped and everything. We're gonna use her in the next battle, if we can. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what Come happened. Come on, I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there. Don't what? worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Google Metal. What if they're eaten by monsters? They ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> Go 
that it? Mega potion. Thank God. I hated using my mega potions in that battle. I did not want to. Cloud 1991. It's my birth year. It's over. See you around. Seriously. <laughs> There's one of those machines, the smog machines. Ain't gonna 
it yet. Battles are getting difficult. <clears throat> Watch out! The ground's really shaky. It's because of the reactor. You can't trust your feet. I'll go. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, but what about the guy? What about the guy with the tattoo? I thought there was I thought there was a shady thing happening. Murderous intent, maybe. He's a piece of Sephiroth, isn't he? Climb the ladder. <laughs> so where's the guy though? We can't run. Check out our materia and our buster sword. <laughs> I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. My potion was stolen. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ja, ja. wrong nothing is tifa like your girlfriend no hmm, but she's someone special it's not like that more like i don't know how to explain i see Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Main scenario, escort the chicken. Oh, check it out, he's got like a tiny little buster sword. Look at him go, look at him swinging that tiny little buster sword. You go, Glen Coco. It's Buddy! Don't worry, it'll be okay. Wait! Hmm. Not him. It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number. But why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> The reunion. There's nothing to Cloud, get it together. Come on. You don't know who Sephiroth is, do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Then you must be from the legendary... The legendary... <laughs> what was the next line again? Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Request for the mercenary. Okay, so that seems like a lot of stuff happened. Um, I think we're going to save here and call it an episode, so if you want to give me a second to just do that, we'll hop on over to the couch. So yeah, I think that's where we're going to call it an episode, so thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for joining me and my best friend Pert Pickles from Canadian Indie Rock Band on uh, Lost Has Found on the couch. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, that was a fun round of Final Fantasy VII. I think that we got a lot done. We got the Shiva Materia, um, we saved those kids, and we possibly saw a piece of Sephiroth, that guy. Um, yeah, it's, it's totally Advent Children-esque. I, I feel Advent Children vibes going on here. Um, so if you haven't watched Advent Children, you should probably go do that before watching the next episode, um, because it's an awesome movie, and it's Final Fantasy VII related, and I mean, lore. Um, I'm not sure if this is the Advent Children timeline, if this is the original Final Fantasy VII timeline, or if it's its own timeline. Um, like, I'm not sure where the canonicity is, um, but I, I am interested in the lore. Um, so we're going to be <laughs> diving into that. Um, I think in the next episode we're going to be doing some missions um, for these kids, and uh, helping out around the town before we head back to Sector 7. Um, that seems like what's going on, yeah. 
Um, but that's that's for the next episode. Um, so if you enjoyed today's episode, click the like button. It should be by Pert's Feet. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. That way you'll get notified next time we're going DP live. And you can catch us in the chat, which is over that way. Or when it's a video like this one, you can catch me down below in the comments. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought. Let me know um, what you think I should play next. Um, but just uh, whatever it is, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost is Found, check out the links in the description below. There's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, and all those good places. If you already know Canadian indie rock band Lost is Found and you want to support them, um, check out the merch shop. There's a link to the merch shop in the description below where you can buy awesome Pert t-shirts, awesome Pert hoodies, awesome Lost is Found hoodies, awesome Lost is Found bags with the Time and Eternity album artwork on them. And you can also buy amazing mugs. <laughs> you can buy amazing mugs with Pert's shining face on them. You can't really see it due to the glare, glare of the ring light. You can buy Pert mugs, and um, it's adorable. She's adorable. Um, get Pert on your clothes, and you can do that at uh, all that and more at the Lost is Found merch store. And again, the link is in the description below. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for playing video games with me and Pert. I can't say it enough. Much love to you and yours. Um, and we will see you in the next episode. So as Pert always says, see ya. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>